as host of Get Tammy Bruce on Fox Nation and Fox News contributor. Dig into it for us, Tammy. What Look, do you think? Uh, it, what's happening now is outrageous. You know, my left-wing activism began on abortion rights. Mm. And without exception, with whatever we were doing at now or as rogue groups, it would involve Democrat politicians. It involved the establishment. Nothing was organic. Nothing was like a natural outrage because this was the only issue that would raise money. It was the only issue that would generate passion on the base. This is the, I mean, 20, 30 years later, they have nothing new. It's the same thing. But what I'm seeing here now is the outrageousness of it's not about the issue. It's never about the issue for the left. It's about power and money and influence. In this case, this is about the institutions of the country that they've decided they don't like, that the country itself is the problem. And so this really is a denigration of the Supreme Court itself. The willingness to dox Supreme Court justices under some kind of made-up moniker, which I also used to do, uh, it means it's not some natural organic group, this Ruth Sentis group. Even Ruth Bader Ginsburg questioned it was not happy with the nature of the Roe versus Wade decision. Uh, as a reminder here, as everyone is still manipulated and lied to by by the left, especially Democrats. The Supreme Court doesn't make law. We know this, but nobody watching this seems to know it, that this is about what the Constitution stands for and simply then allowing the states to make their own decisions on this issue. But what you're seeing is this, and this will backfire. The left never knows when to stop. Mm -hmm. They always go too far. And Americans, while I'm with Americans in that there should be restrictions, uh, limited restrictions, but, but certain access, absolutely to have riots and then to publish the addresses of Supreme Court justices has nothing to do with the issue. It should never be tolerated. It should never be tolerated. And the fact that the White House in those mm -hmm. clips you played is not condemning it, yeah. uh, encourages it. That's a statement that they are behind it and that they support it. Well, I'm sure they would push back on the encouragement part of that, but they, at, at a minimum, should be condemning it. Um, and you didn't see Jen Psaki do that in that clip there. She could have said, I, we don't encourage this, right. but right. they didn't do that. And that is an encouragement. That is an underlying encouragement yeah. to people who are doing this. Well, the media is pushing a narrative, that, meanwhile, that the leaked Roe v. Wade draft decision could be a midterm game changer. Mm -hmm. uh, you can watch this. Do you think this animates voters in the midterms? This is the animating issue. In November, is this going to move votes? I think it will. My sense would be that uh, this is something that's going to cost Republicans some seats. This has completely altered, by all likelihood, the makeup of the midterm electorate. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, Politico, though, meanwhile, is reporting that they are skeptical it will save the party in November. One pollster saying that it will help at the margins, but to regain control, we need inflation to go away. Uh, interesting to frame it uh, yeah. as that. Right. Um, inflation's not helping this party one bit. Uh, it is where they're struggling the most in the polls. Do you believe this Roe v. Wade leak will turn things around? Well, I think they hope that it would be the 80s, like when I was an activist. They've lost me. They've lost uh, this generation because this is about extremism. We've learned it has nothing to do with the issues. That kind of framing is conf confirming that this is just a political strategy. This is an effort to drag people along by the ears who, in fact, are being harmed, their lives being harmed by inflation, by nothing on the shelves. Food problems will increase. The, the nature of uh, the, the job environment, uh, the chaos on the world stage, war, discussion of limited nuclear exchanges. It's insane. A president who clearly is unaware of the nature of what's going on. We don't know who's running the country. Americans uh, realize they were lied to in 2020. They realized that what the Democrats told them, what Biden told them, was not true. And this is what some Democrats have been dealing with. They hope, and I want every Democrat out there, every feminist out there, to realize that you are being used like a fetish, like a game piece, because mm -hmm. they want to maintain their own power. This, uh, this has nothing to do with abortion rights, wow. which in, in every state of this union, women in this country are the majority of voters now. Women can have and should have an impact when it's in the courts. Mm -hmm. You don't, and that's what they've wanted. They wanted you to be hanging in tenterhooks, to not be able to do things, and then to use this to move you around. Yeah. Don't be a game piece. Well, we will be in charge. see if we hear anything further from the White House today on this issue, and if they step up yeah. and condemn these calls for violence, uh, and particularly condemning the doxing of the Supreme Court justices, because that should never
never be. This tolerated. is all they have. This is what the Democratic Party's become, in my humble opinion. Good to have you, Tammy. And great Thank to you, see you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.